the wonderful step of weeding out the scrap or disposing of the scrap from the its offices office premises across India. Uh, the good thing is that 250 crores rupees plus has already been generated and a week is still there for the program to finish. And another important aspect is 37 lakh square feet of area has been cleared and we know that government offices are in prime areas and the, if, if that translates into cost it could be a great saving. This initiative has is in the second phase and the response has come much better, almost as good as last time it was 60 crore plus uh, in whole of the duration of four weeks and this time we are saying 50 crore plus is already uh, in the kitty and we can uh, advance. The special campaign 2.0 is being implemented from October 2nd to October 31st, uh, 2022. The objective is to institutionalize Swachita and to minimize pendency. And uh, so far, uh, the campaign has been conducted across the length and breadth of India. And the Honorable Prime Minister has advised that the campaign should be taken up in the remotest parts of India. So the remotest parts of India stretching from Itanagar in Arunachal Pradesh to Bikaner in Rajasthan, from Leh in Ladakh to Kanyakumari in Tamil Nadu, the campaign has been conducted in over 65,000 government offices. So in implementing this campaign, what we found was more than uh, 40 lakh files have been reviewed and many files have been weeded up. This has resulted in vacation of huge amounts of space, 37 lakh square feet of space has been freed and electronic scrap that was disposed has resulted in earnings of about 255 crores. So this signifies a quantum increase in the cleanliness campaign sites as also in terms of the scrap disposal and space free. Let me also add that in terms of citizen well-being, there has been a significant improvement in terms of the number of citizen-centric practices like uh, me mechanized cleaning being adopted at railway stations, post offices which are, which are being created with uh, advanced cafeteria facilities and also in terms of airports, the wait time at airports being speeded up, face authentication apps being used for pensioners' welfare, a number of citizen-centric uh, initiatives have also come up as part of the Swachita campaign and the special campaign to point. Uh, also, the bigger picture, if you see, is a behavioral change both in the office uh, uh, government sector and also that could be imbibed uh, for, by corporates and the citizens alike and that could be one of the ways. Yes. As I said, uh, the objective is to institutionalize Swachita. And what we see is that as the campaign has been progressing, almost every office has been keen on adopting Swachta practices. For example, we've seen hand hygiene practices being adopted across CGHS wellness centers. We have seen digital portals being adopted in several ministries for monitoring of pendency. And uh, overall, there has been tremendous emphasis to ensure that office spaces look very clean and citizen friendly so that the experience of visiting a government office and the experience of working in a government office are richly enhanced. Thank you, sir. With camera person Deepak Pranaprakar reporting for Vision Television World.